Hello everybody, welcome back to our garage. Uh, so today we're going to do a little bit different project. Uh, we will do go-kart without using welder. So just we're going to use some basic pliers, uh, drill and some spanners. So we bought on eBay some stuff what we're going to use. So uh, go-kart wheels, axle, engine uh, some 10 mil bolts some washers and then and, and, uh, and here some plenty of bolts uh, wheel holders sprockets chain uh, so for the frame we will use uh, 40 by 60 millimeters uh, square foot beam 2 millimeters thick uh, you can use any other sizes. This, this we're using what we have in the garage at the moment. So, at the first, we will make the box frame. So let's move all the stuff from here. bucks or 70 euros with delivery it's all second hands uh, from little tiny kids go-kart uh, if I remember it was uh, Italian some uh, half size car you can find on eBay plenty of this stuff or Amazon uh, so we don't have any anything in our, in our mind now the measurements we will actually Try to measure up now the junior size, sitting size, so and we will go from there. Okay, so one meter. Plus we need to space for the engine. Um, another I will say another 40 centimeters and front bumper. Uh, so we will make the full size of the of the go-kart will be uh, 150 centimeters long and uh, and the width is depends on the what axle you will use our axle is not very very wide so uh, it will be around 50 centimeters wide uh, yeah around 50 centimeters wide so 150 by 50 okay let's cut some tubing so we will use the Square. Uh, I have that type of square, uh, but you can use any square. So when you're measuring up, uh, measure up uh, not only one uh, side because when you will cut, you can go that or that. So side, and then cut every single side. You will end up with 90 degrees nice cut. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's measure up 150 centimeters and cut. And straight away, let's uh, mark the second one. Okay, let's cut. Yeah, so when you're using the angle grind, they use the air protection, eye protection. So we cut it two long pieces of uh, 150 centimeters. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be our cart length. Okay. So, yeah, so we have 47 centimeters width. So, this will 
be uh, the rear end of the uh, our cart, go cart. So uh, so first, before we assemble this side, we need to put the axle in. Okay, so let's make some holes here. Yeah. We need to do. It. We need to make sure we have axle at the end. And uh, can you pass the engine, please? So the engine will sit somewhere here. Let's pass. Let's pass for me drill and and the drill bit. Okay, that's it. All holes done. So let's do a little bit sanding of the holes. Just to make sure it's all nice. Okay, so the holes for the axle is ready. Uh, so now, uh, let's install temporarily axle in and we will make rear bumper. Let's put wheels on so we can measure up what, what size of bumper we need. Okay, so uh, 95 centimeters. We've done all the, uh, which I showed before, the plate. We cut six angles like this. This is a 10, 10 centimeters by 10 and three and a half by three and a half. So we will need to do like that. So uh, it's handy to have the magnets, but if you don't have the, that point, you can use something to to put under. Okay, let's do the a little bit tidy up of the table. So 
one wheel down, tied it up here, swing around here so we can work. So one wheel is attached. Let's make another wheel. So I figured out how to how to do the holders. Um, complicated just couple flat bars and then and, and a couple screws. Uh, and I bent a little bit. So uh, I put the flat bar in the vise. Uh, it's not here, it's on the back of the camera. Um, I bent a little bit angle like that to reduce the thickness here because on the wheels we have here 40 millimeters and here 60. So I bent like uh, one and a half centimeter and I put some space. Okay, so let's do the, the second wheel. Uh, and that's it. And then we will ready for for the engine. And after we will do the steering column. Okay, let's cut some some off because it's too long. Okay, so we installed the engine on the one point now, so it's still moving. Uh, so that's good. I put the chain on, so to make sure what uh, what length I need to do the top mounting, so it will be steady. Uh, this is it for the first part of the go kart build. Uh, please subscribe comment let's see in the uh, part two of this video see you.